This week's full time meal is Mexican style chicken. Loads of flavors, but actually not that many ingredients. You're going to need chicken drumsticks, a red pepper, an onion, some rice, tomato puree, a chicken crumbly stock cube, fajita seasoning, and a tin of chopped tomatoes. You are going to need a big pan with a lid. Anything like this that can go in the oven. Some tongs, tin opener, wooden spoon, knife, and your favorite mug. First thing, get your chicken drumsticks. Nine chicken drumsticks. So four normal chickens and one one-legged chicken. I want to take the skin off the drumsticks. And you'll see in recipes before where people say, cook it with the skin on, make it nice and crispy. That's a complete lie. Chicken skin on legs does not go crispy. Take the skin off, there's no need for it. Now removing the skin is quite an easy thing to do. Take it from where it's cut on the thigh and pull it down and then get yourself J cloth. It means you can hold it, it just pops off. This is most definitely gonna be worth the effort. Once you've removed all the chicken skin, turn your pan on quite hot. A splash of oil and then add your chicken drumsticks to the pan. We're gonna get them nice and brown all the way over. That's the sort of color we're looking for. That lovely golden bronzy brown color. That's what we want. That's how you get flavor on a chicken. So once it's got that kind of color, you can turn it around, all right? So as the chicken's frying, I'm gonna dice an onion. Fairly chunky, all right? Do the same thing with the red pepper. So once you've diced your vegetables and your chicken has got loads of lovely color on it, put it onto a plate. I know you're thinking that can't be cooked. Well, it isn't, all right? But you're just making room in the pan to throw in the veg. Keep the heat on quite high. Just let it soften just a little bit. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of fajita seasoning. And that sounds like quite a lot, but honestly, this is a big flavor. And the stock cube. Then add one tablespoon of tomato puree. Give that a stir around. And then add the chopped tomatoes, one mug of water. We're gonna gently bring that up to the boil. And those smells that come out, the tomatoes, the peppers, and that fajita spice, that's the thing that makes it Mexican in style. Then measure out one mug of rice. How many grains of rice do you think is in that mug? If you can guess, you get to win Marcus Rashford. <laughs> Sadly, I'm going to put them all in there, cook them and eat them before we ever know the answer. So uh, Marcus isn't actually a legitimate prize. Give that a little stir. And then place the chicken pieces back into the pan. Put your lid on. And then you're going to stick it in an oven. ready for this. Now the way of cooking this rice, it's baked and it's absorbed all that liquid. You've got that beautiful roasted chicken. You can still see it's kept the color and the flavor. It's a one pan Mexican wonder. That's what it is. So that's this week's full time meal done. Let me know how you've got on using the hashtag full time meals and follow the page where there's loads of other things for you to cook.